Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Hunter on Timbergold Timber Trails with Lindenborn. Just spotted uh, what we call the Five Brothers. Seen a lot of them on Loggers Point. This is the second time I've encountered them here on Timbergold Trails. Let's check them out for a minute. My mule deer spotting level isn't that great, so I just get a kind of general score here. See if we can pick the right one out. Don't believe it's the first one. Sure it's not. I have my crossbow, a 10 point. Also have my 340, which is not legal ammunition for the mule deer. But I do like to keep it for bear and elk. There's the fifth right there. He just popped over that little ridge, snorted at me. I believe that's the one I'm going to try to shoot. There's no way I can pop this first one without the other one spooking. They're just too good with their senses. Try to get a shot here. Not a perfect shot. Go see what the blood tells us. But today we're going to try to get a little more of a uh, tour of the map, especially the uh, lower elevations with the river and the uh, some of the ash and pine forest located close to those. Move around a little bit, see what we find. I'll show you some uh, spots that I like to hunt on the map. Uh, it's not, not the best shot, obviously. We got a body. But we can check out some of the map while we're looking. My biggest muley so far on this map is 192. This tall grass makes for some tough tracking. At times, it's harder to see the tracks as you're going along. But I do like the grass. Even though I don't believe it offers you any additional camouflage. This looks good. Got some of the yellow and gold and orange ash trees there. Now we're going to ignore that mule while we're tracking this one. There's just tons of mule deer though along this bottom, the river area, a couple hundred meters, at least on either side of the rivers, and the lakes, and the southern third of the map I would say. Still got some blood. Some of these little trees are kind of annoying the crash, the collision zone on the trees. Got to kind of dodge and weave these little trees that have three small trunks. A lot of times while I'm tracking, I'll 
run into a bear. Always carry my 454. You might have saw my previous video. I had some bear attacks on there. Some I come out on top, some the bear did. the road come up on the river here hopefully he uh, be somewhere between here and the river and spot some more game down in the bottom not going to take the time right now to chase some cow elk Coming up on close to 50 Rocky Mountain Elk achievement since the map came out. I've got to be getting close to 25 grizzly bears. I don't check my stats very often. I get upset when I look at the personal best in the gallery. It just reminds me of what I would like to have fixed in the game. I don't know your guys' thoughts on the gallery, but in real life, when I'm hunting or fishing, photography is a very big part of it. And it seems like it'd be easy to fix for me, but I'm not a programmer and don't run expansive worlds, so. This deer is trying to dodge me. Let's see where he went. guys too much. I'm sure something exciting will happen here in just a moment. But I believe he turned. A lot of times when they pick back up on their roaming they'll slightly change directions. Just gotta scour the grass here a little bit. See if I missed a track. The track's here, but not the one I'm looking for. This way. Yep, here's one. All right, we're back on trail here. A lot of small trees and vegetation. And small rolling hills. It did provide some cover. It's another mule deer calling. I don't know if those five brothers possibly went back to roaming and are calling now. down 
towards the river. Looks like he's doing. Most all the other maps with the water have seen fish. I don't believe they've added any fish in the rivers or lakes on this map yet. Not that I've noticed anyway. Just a little extra there. This guy's still going. Trying to find him. Take a look at things on the way. Not sure what my mule deer tracking level is, but it shows the tracks pretty bright there. Still use the red bubble on most maps, except for White Rhyme Ridge, where I use the uh, bright, brightest orange. I seem to see it better in the daylight on the snow. All right, he's crossing the river here. Whoa! That sounded very close. I do not see him or hear him. They do make random roars like that. That one sounded close. Let's keep looking here. It's going right across this. forward in the river. Hey, what is that over there? That almost looks white. Is it a blonde or an albino? But we'll find out now. That one's not going anywhere. Let's check that dude out. Alright. It's a nice find. Strolling down the river. I had a multiplayer up the other day and a friend of mine killed an albino. And another player killed a highball muley buck. Scored 143. I have seen a few variations in some of my games. I'm thinking this is this is blonde. It's not white enough. Oh yeah. Nice looking animal. No pink eyes, that's this it's a blonde. Not a high score, but definitely trophy worthy with my first blonde grizzly bear. Let's take a quick trophy shot. These guys are super tough to position, even more so than the other animals. I wish there was a better way. I don't know. If there ever will be for trophy shots. That's right, close there. You see my bullet entry there. It's a nice looking animal. It has a little longer snout, I believe, than maybe the brown bear.
was cool. Now let's get this mule deer. Hopefully he's not far. I think the mule deer was huge. Just a nice sized deer. This is pretty, uh, much what you'll find on this area of the map as far as the terrain rocks and pines on this side of the river one note my fault oh that is one of the ant hills they just uh, added not sure what I think about those your fall forest camo will not work in this green pine the evergreen here Firs, pines. Well, there he is. So you'll have to use multi camouflages or say the trapper or the dock. 150, yeah, he's average. Decent. another ant hill. They're pretty uh, much all over the map. You see my, <coughs> pardon me, you can see my layout here. I have a lot of stands and towers along the river, as I mentioned before. Uh, there's a buck to call. Let's see if we can find him. in these hills. Growing up in Texas and Louisiana, I'm used to fire ants. And if those size of those hills were full of fire ants, we'd be in trouble. Yeah, I'm wearing my fall forest. It, it does not work in these evergreen portions. vision here. Could be a good ambush spot. Let's see if we can catch him on this road. Mr. Mule.
hasn't seen me. down the water's edge on me. Come down this tree here and call this rascal in. Deer. Hear him. Oh, it's a little guy. And he did not drop. When I'm not on I'm usually pretty good about getting the heart shot. What the heck? He did a lap around me and took off up the hill. That's a little odd. Yep, that's him. I'm not going to bore you with tracking him. I'm going to track him down and then we'll meet up in one of my stands over here just down the river. I will be... Okay, we have fast traveled over here. You can kind of see my layout here. Got a couple of towers and tents all around the bottom. That one there is the one next to the train tunnel. If you didn't know, you can fast travel to two other locations through the train tunnels without using your camping supplies. Got my tents and a few stands up north for the birds and sheep. Let's jump in this stand real quick and see what happens. Got that mule deer a minute ago. He was just a 123. But you noticed how he was running circles. He was doing that the whole time. It took, took me almost uh, 20 minutes to track him down. These red trees are the ponderosa pines. Can hardly put any stands in those. The white ones are ash. You can't can't uh, put stands in those. But, but the regular pines are really good. Like you see in front of me here, this is one of the really beautiful areas of the map where you have a good view. Some of the different types of trees and forest areas. where it kind of merges. So this really trips me out. This tree is like super straight with no limbs. We're a long way up. But I put my stand in and it appears to be about 15 feet off the ground. It's good enough. Killed quite a few muleys and some elk out of this tree.
Alright, right on cue. Got a elk bugling. Back up towards the tent. <whistles> See if we can get him to come down and visit us. Person stands are nice. You can switch, switch seats. You can't see well enough from one side. I think I'll do that now. Oops, I accidentally exited. Let's get back up there. Switch sides. And you can see up the hill. It's a little rougher over on the south side of the river. But I believe the elk like that just as well. Game wise. We do have some new elk bugle sounds. Personally, like them. It could be a little deeper. Oh, he's kind of a small guy. Can't score anything yet. I think I just hit level 5 on my tracking today. I'm not sure what my spotting is on these guys. But I'm going to guess. Let's see here. Oh, they also added some new sounds, louder hoof beats. I'll just say maybe 160. I don't know, what do you guys think? You can take a guess. Definitely know when they're close. Got much more meat on their bones and make a lot of. What a hoof noise. And he's down. Probably a good shot. But he's pretty nonetheless. From the new Rocky Mountain elk on the map. A 187. Not too bad. Still yet to pass 400 on the on the map. I've I think 379 is my top. Killed lots of 350 though. A lot of nice elk here. But I want to be in the 400 club. And I will keep hunting until I do. I want to be 200 on the mule deer. It's a ponderosa pine we just looked at. Hopefully, in my next video, we can. Get a 400 elk and a 200 mule deer. Some really tall trees around here. All right, we're heading down now to the uh, lake, kind of on the eastern side of the map. I have a tower set up there where I've killed a lot of animals. It's in a 
one of the bigger clearings on the map. You can actually see several directions, 100, 150 meters or more. over here not too far from the tower another bunk let's try to make it to the tower and then start calling them in clearing I mentioned to you guys. You can kind of see on my hunter mate where it is if you're interested. If you like a little more open space. That kind of a ash thicket on this side of the forest on this side of the clearing and then it goes back to pines on the other side looks like you can see pines for quite a ways on the other side of the clearing I did put a lot of work in the different colors of the bushes and trees There's this track, but we're still going to try to make it over to the tower. Get some calls out and see what we can get. This grass actually provides any visual coverage from the animals. Crouching, we can hopefully not scare anything that's on the other side. We might be looking. Close to the river, or the end of the river, it turns into a lake. Maybe funnel some animals around, but they come from all directions. There's just so many animals here. And seven or eight elk and five mule deer, mostly does in this field at the same time before. Calls. <laughs> See who shows up to be next on the hit list. This spot could be for some of you who enjoy a little more wide open glassing. You see here where it's located on the map. Just south of the lodge there. You'll find bear, elk, and mule deer. That's the fire tower. That's, I believe, Reynolds Nugget. Got 
some stands. There's no strip mine over on that side of the map. Alright, we should have something very soon. They are near, we will see them. And of course, as soon as I brag about a good spot, it's slow. But I have faith. I guess if you didn't have a tower, you could put a tree stand on one of those trees there in front. Maybe one of these right here to my right. Bring my fly rod and do some trout, <coughs> trout fishing while I'm waiting. The other side of the lake is out of render distance for animals, but kind of gives you a view of the surroundings. And there's one. Where are you at, Mr. Deer? Well, they're pretty close to the edge of that green part of the forest over there. See if we can spot you. Oh wow, he's running in. And he's a good one. He's excited. Now he slowed down. 155 minimum. Looks pretty good there. Try to wait till he gets to this side of that shadow. Hopefully those cow elks don't come in and scare. looking deer. Not sure he's going to be my over 200 even though the score there does give him a chance. With my eyeball and I'm going to say right around just under 200. My guess, what is your guess? I didn't enjoy mule deer as much on Logger's Point, but I've had a lot of fun hunting them here. Just step on out a little further. 
Hopefully this shot will drop him. Yep. Alright, I feel better about my shooting now. Let's go check that rascal out. Guys, I really appreciate you watching my video today, taking the tour through the lower portions of Timbergold Trails. I am Lindenborn the Hunter, 182. Okay, I've seen that score a lot on this map. Seems to be prominent. But thanks again for watching, and I will catch you very soon with a video, hopefully with my 400 elk and a 200 mule deer. You guys have a nice day and happy hunting.